What's up guys, this is Nick here from Everything Tech and welcome to this installment of what is on my iPhone for the month of November 2015. Now I think I'll have some goodies on here you might not have on your iPhone that you might want to check out and download. So that's why I created this video wrapping up the month. So uh, let's start out and what I have on my first screen. I have Lifestyles, Useful Apples, which is useful Apple based applications, Utilities, Finance, Photography, Google Apps, Settings, Lyft, Uber, Google Maps, Cycle Meter, and Pixlr. Okay, so in my first folder we have weather, obviously from Apple. Fujicate is going to be an app where you can scan food codes to, you know, have a better uh, healthy eating experience. So you don't uh, make sure you're eating junk food. They'll give you a grade based on A to F. Headspace is a meditation app. ThinkUp is an affirmations app. Now, if you want to know what affirmations are, just Google them. Uh, Kindle is Kindle, you know, reading books from the Amazon store. Sonata is a classical music um, app that you can go into. So if I go into Sonata, you'll be able to, you know, listen. I like to listen to some classical music here and there, Beethoven, um, Mozart, things like that. You may not be into that, but that's just a little cool app called Sonata. Udemy is taking um, classes and courses straight from your mobile phone, which can, you know, really greatly enhance your knowledge of whatever you're trying to learn, and you can learn pretty much anything from that app. So just type in whatever course you want to learn and get learning. Um, calendar, reminders, notes, and mail are my favorite useful Apple apps. And then utilities, I have Clock Calculator, ADT Pulse, which is a home security system, as you all know. Going over to finance, I have Chase and PayPal. Um, going into my photography, I have the Google Photo apps because this is a 16 gig iPhone. So yes, you probably can assume that I'm running low on storage here and there. So I transfer all the photos that I take with the pictures over to the Google Photo apps which comes really in handy on a 16 gig iPhone. Going over into Google, you're gonna see I have the regular Google search, I have Google Keep, Google Play Music, YouTube, and YouTube Music, which I really love YouTube Music. And over in here I have Venture. This is a Chicago-based thing, I believe. I'm not sure, actually. It's a CTA, Chicago Tr Public Transit. I don't know where your transit system is, but you might use Venture as well. Instagram, so those are really the only apps I use. Going over to settings, that's settings. Lyft is a ride sharing service and so is Uber. Um, those are really great ride sharing services. You get free rides on both of those if you uh, sign up. They're usually in popular cities, so you might wanna check where you're at to make sure you have those ride sharing service. But people basically just pick you up, kind of like a taxi ride. I'm sure you know what they are. Google Maps and Cycle Meter is a GPS for your cycling. And over here, Pixar Express is a very handy um, photo preparing app. I made this photo yesterday because I created um, guacamole, I created it, I cooked guacamole, prepared and enjoyed it. And I was able to create this cool little effect. But you got all kinds of things going on in this Pixar Express. I'm not gonna go too in depth, I just wanna show you the apps because I'm sure you guys can play around with them yourselves. But yeah, Pixar Express is one of my favorite photo editing apps for iPhone. On my dock, I got the typical you know, phone, Safari messages and camera. Going over to this next page, I have extras in here. I just have a bunch of, you know, Apple apps that I don't really use, except for the App Store, but I don't like to keep that on the home screen, so I don't go downloading a bunch of apps I don't need. And here is shopping, my two favorites, the big giants, Amazon and eBay. I'm sure you already have those. Um, Evernote, and then um, Facet right there. The Facet app real quick. You're gonna see, this allows you to see some pictures of adventures, um, things around the world people are doing, which I think is really awesome, so like views from the top buzzworthy and it's just going to show you some cool little things that are going on around the world people post these pictures onto this app called facet so it's a really exploration type thing this is a buzzing drone showing you a drone that these things do exist so that is an awesome app going over here down to apple trailers we have trailers which just is basically movie things it's an apple app i really like it it's very enjoyable trip advisor is for more like travel and like knowing where you're going to be, uh, you know, what's going on in your area, the events, museums, things like that. So Yonder, guys, that's another adventurous app. You could check that one out. Also, we have Daily Horoscopes. Now, Horoscopes is going to be, I'm sure you know what your horoscope is, Leo's, Aries, things like that. So I'm sure you know what your horoscope is going to be. Be Weather is an app I like to actually put into widget store, and that's where I'm going to end this video real quick. So in my widget store, I have this app that tells me the weather. So if you really want to be a power user, and uh, get the most out of your iPhone, try checking out this Be Weather app to throw up into your notification bar. And also I got Google Keep, but there's so many more in the Play Store. You can also get something called iLauncher. I said the Play Store, but it's the App Store. You can also get something called iLauncher, which allows you to like put a whole bunch of apps in here. 
But yeah, you just go down to edit and you add these as you as they become new ones like Evernote and all those things. So I would say if you want to be a power user on the iPhone, make sure you add widgets into your notifications drawer. And yeah, that's pretty much what's on my iPhone for the month of November 2015. If you enjoyed this content, please go ahead, hit that thumbs up down below, subscribe for more tech videos, and I will catch you shortly in the next episode. Peace.